Hello, you're welcome back. Farming development. Real, true, educational, not fake news. It's the 10th of December <laughs> and uh, I'm here on the farm and just to show you something a bit practical um, it's there's been a storm I think it's Aria or something like that I'm not too sure there's been a bit of a storm but today is a windy wet uh, coldish day it's not actually that freezing and I'm here with the herd I haven't the hilda. I'm in the process of, we of weaning so I'll have to uh, uh, pick my words to suit the to the calves but in in 2007 uh, it was well muted it was well published in the farming press that the government would be giving grants so this was an EU grant called the farm waste management scheme essentially it it built housing for cattle but from my uh, operation my cattle herd the suckler herd uh, I had a tank in which the effluent from the cattle the uh, the urine and the dung went down through and stored in a tank and it lay there till the weather till the weather was good and I could put it out on the land and use it as a fertilizer and uh, it was the way to go and I have done it now and it has been the way to go and it's a great idea but one of the things that I had to pick was a design and I decided that uh, that uh, I'd go for an open an open front shed and I'll just pause now and, and, and give you a look at how it actually panned out. So, uh, there's a lane here, and then there's a neighbouring house, and there's a lane down there, which leads on to um, this hard road. So what you've seen in, in uh, that video, I'll have to be careful here with my microphone, what you've seen in that video is the general outlay of the shed and there's a lane running behind it here and that goes down to um, a tarred road here at Drumskerry and Curdlas. And so um, I had to pick a site and I, I chose this site. The land wasn't that good under it. It was it was convenient enough to the it was convenient enough to the tarred road. But the obvious way was to face the shed towards the the lane. To face the shed uh, out looking at the lane. The way you'd build a house, you'd face it to the road. So you'd face it to the road. But before I uh, caught up my design. I had decided on an open on an open shed because I can develop opposite. I can have another shed this other side or anything I wish. Whereas a closed shed it's not just so easy so easy doing that. And also the air gets into the shed but I didn't want it breezy. So the the what I did was I went round and got advice from every farmer I know and everyone I know and one of the things about this world I always say, you can hear advice, you don't have to always take it. And most people will give you good advice, and they may have been here before. So another issue was the height of the shed. And I left the, the I left it capable of handling a, a, a vehicle, a tractor. Uh, I think it was 11, 11, 11 feet. And uh, uh, the, that was take most tractors. I didn't want it too high because then you had more air, more cold. Now the thing about cattle in the shed is you need them aired. You need to have them to have air but not shivering and not a breeze. Calm conditions inside. Now so that was that. So one of the things I did when I decided on this site was come down and experience it in all kinds of weathers. And as I expected the wind is from the south uh, west prevailing that way. It's coming that way. So most of the wind comes across. Only for a short time in the springtime do you get east winds. And for now, I have a, a, I have a, um, I have a, 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 a pile uh, here of, of clay to try and sh shade that off. So I'll just show you that. So I have a large pile there. Like that. 
So I was able to uh, cut off the effect of that, but for 99% of the time, maybe 90, 98% of the time, uh, I can have my front of my shed facing away from the wind, whether it's the north, the south, the northeast, the west, the southwest. And that means that uh, they're, 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 they're comfortable inside. And during the east wind, east wind, during the east wind, you'll see them a kind of shivering, and everyone agrees that's bad. So I'm just going to look at them now and I'll give you a wee look. And obviously, I have to speak inside the back of that. So here we get two having a bit of a rest and they always like to rest near the front where the feed is and uh, you can see that from their hair on that that there's no no breeze they'll probably get up now I don't want to storm them but there's another one resting in there so and there's another one in there so you see that there and um, the thing about it is that uh, that's what you want you want them aired but not suffering a breeze. Now if I just go around the corner here a little bit, the wind hits me hard because this is a storm day. I think we have a storm or something. The wind hits quite hard and uh, uh, so if I had to turn the shed the obvious way, that wind would be coming in straight into this shed and that would be a disaster. I'd realise at that stage I had made a monumental mistake and a lot of unfortunate people, especially young people, trying to do their best realize this now this shed is a bit of a role model i think it's been measured and copied three times and there are three copies of it and i thought this out of my own head but I'm, I'm not claiming any credit for that but the main point for farmers and indeed for various development is before you turn a sod take everything out you can see there at the back i have a place for straw i have my blackboard for recording cows um, coming in heat and calving times and i'm going to put another blackboard there and then i have a, an area for uh, pens i have the crush at the back you probably see the crush there uh what do you see now can i get it well, that sticks across you can see the crush there and uh, all that and um, so that's it and I use wood for the partitions and places wood is great for cattle too uh, it's a warm substance so you'll see them lying here so um, right, that's nearly all about this video and, uh, it's an unusual one but mainly for farms there is one other thing I'm going to deal with in another video but I won't be doing it today because I have to get on with the, with the weaning process um, Uh, so, um, the important thing is that um, when you're planning anything, let it be a house or anything, put plenty of thought into it. Ask advice and always remember my bit of advice. Listening to advice doesn't mean you have to take it. I got a lot of good advice building this shed, but I got a lot of bad advice. I mean, there were people who told me to put the cattle crush for testing cattle and doing veterinary and all that, to put it um, outside the shed. Imagine a day like this doing a test. No, it's inside the shed. So you've got to make your own decisions. But it's better at the same time to get a bit of advice on everything uh, with the height of it, the design of it. This is a four bay outfit and all that. And uh, for people who are not on the farming thing, yes, I got a grant. I, I got a bit of a grant, but it meant I had to do everything very strict. And it wasn't easy. And there was a time limit, which luckily didn't kill, kill some farmers. They were up on the top of sheds on Christmas Day because it ended on the 31st of December 2008. Anyway, but we got the bit of a grant and it's having a good effect on the environment. It's saving nitrates and uh, maybe somebody come up with some idea of turning my, uh, my slurry into some kind of a gas that we could use as renewable energy. That's for another day. We'd be all open to that. And the recent farmers protest up in Dublin, uh, we got a good reception up there. The bottom line is the heart of the Dublin people is not against it. It's not against the country. It's not against the country and we should never allow a divide 
between the city people and the country people to be driven by any evil forces, whoever they are, because we did have to hold them up. We chatted with some of them were very angry, and we had a chat, and then they came down, they began to see the position. So I would, on behalf of all the farmers, uh, right, I'm sorry about that, we didn't, we didn't mean, it may have to happen again. We're getting, we're getting done by our government and everything, and our factories, and we're not getting fair play. We're getting screwed, essentially, and we're not getting fair play. But anyway, just one other thing now before I go. So that's an idea on the design of a shed or design of a cattle shed or the design of anything. Put plenty of thought into it and go down on the site. I used to stand here in the middle of the night sometimes if I was at 12 o'clock before I go to bed and come down and feel the wind and I discovered that this was, this was the optimum way. This was the best way to face this shed and there is no doubt about it. This is roughly, uh, it's facing virtually due east, if anything just slightly southeast, just slightly southeast. And that cuts out most of the vicious north winds as well. And there's extras can be done. I can put a, a screen here or a door over here to stop the north wind coming in and there can be little things done like that um, to improve. One other little thing before I go, there's a lady, uh, a friend of mine, and she lost a blue cap. A blue cap and all I know is the description of it is blue I just want to scratch my head here and it has a it has a light blue inside it has a light blue inside and it has a, a heavy blue outside and she's missing it for the last three days uh, and if you know anything about it get on to me personally now don't don't contact the guard and don't contact her because if you do the next video could be on how to install a TV aerial on the doghouse <laughs> so <laughs> So with that anyway, uh, we leave you go. Uh, by the way, I had an earlier video in which I put a book across a cow's back. A lot of people didn't get the idea of that. I had a book across the cow's back. It's there yet. And I was writing on it and I was drinking tea off the cow's back. The whole idea of that was the fun. How did the cow stand? Why did she stand? <laughs> and the answer to that is I had her trained. I give her a bit of a scratch every day and she loves being scratched. And uh, she's a quiet cow. And But that a lot of people didn't get that idea. They didn't actually get the fun of that. That was meant to be funny. It's meant to be, how does he do that, you know? Has all his cattle like that? Well, no. Only one of them was exceptionally quiet. And they made the wee video of the book on our bag, using it as an office. It's meant to be funny. Whether it is or not, that's another day's work. So uh, we're in 12 minutes. That's long enough for this video. And uh, from down on the farm. And it's wet, cold, windy, all day, you know. And um, this is Ireland. That's it. But uh, we have to live with it. And we get good days as well. So good luck. We'll see you. Thank you very much. And, welcome. and do give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And uh, if you want to subscribe, I want to explain what subscribe means. Subscribe means that when I make a video, you get told about it. That's all. And then you can know I've made one. Uh, and uh, I have 138 subscribers. And um, hopefully I'll maybe bring it up to 200 eventually, if you think it's good. And uh, if it's not good, well then sure, I suppose the day will come. The day will come when everyone will be having a, a YouTube channel. I'm just getting in on time to try and get some of these ideas across and maybe they'd be useful to somebody. So uh, thank you very much, we'll leave you at that. Bye, bye bye. On behalf of all the livestock, bye bye.